earlier today, I looked at my um, car odometer and I realized that I had circled the equator of the Earth once without even a single fender bender. Oh, about two years ago, I had two car accidents within months of each other. And then in between that, I had all sorts of fender benders of just of hitting poles in parking lots or hitting the side of a garage door, among other things. And uh, I've been I've been clean for um, again the, the the whole circumference of the Earth, twenty four thousand nine hundred three miles to be exact. And um, I have to credit the idea of you have to find your personal motivation. Most people, when they hear about others who have been seriously injured or killed in a car accident or um, who uh, otherwise have their lives turned upside, upside down. Maybe they had a family member who was hurt in a car accident. That will motivate them. But for me, uh, the constant threat of getting killed in a car accident didn't do the trick. Uh, the, the idea of dying doesn't really bother me that much. I know it sounds a little bit weird. Um, I actually already have an idea of what I want my... Uh, where I want my remains to go when I die, and um, it, it just doesn't bother me. Um, the idea of um, getting seriously hurt, well, I kind of like um, being tended to by other people. You know, I love those social interactions, even if it's in a bad situation, like getting hurt. Um, I, I have a romantic connection to that, if you will, of the death and the, 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 the serious disability. Um, and it just it just didn't bother me. I know it sounds a little bit weird, uh, but what does bother me is that uh, I recently went to check uh, my driving record, and it was a mess uh, in terms of the accident. Uh, I also had a ticket a few years ago that was still on the record, and I recently went to check also my credit history. Uh, I don't have any derogatories, but the score could be hacked a little bit higher, and I'm working on that. And the reason I'm working on all these records is because I know um, other people will be interested in them, obviously, especially when I get married. You know, my, my future wife and my future in-laws uh, definitely don't want, uh, don't want to be marrying into bad credit or bad driving history. And um, the idea that if I have another car accident that nobody will marry me scares me a whole lot more than having my remains scattered on Gdansk Bay. Oh, I know it sounds weird to put it that way, but that's literally the equation that I'm going by of what I'm considering, you know, when I'm going on the highway, whether or not, you know, if I'm in a hurry, that's the one thing that will stop me from going 80 miles an hour, literally. And uh, it's it's the motivation that I found, and everybody will have a different motivation. Some people might really fear death, you know, and uh, if it works for them, it works for them. Um, Thirteen years, well, actually fourteen years ago now, um, I stopped drinking soda. I used to drink tons and tons of soda, uh, literally. Like in a, in a typical year, I might drink uh, a ton of soda. Let's see how much that is. Could be a, a thousand liters. No, not that much. In two years, I used to drink a ton of soda. And um, uh, 14 years ago, um, I uh, freed myself from soda literally overnight, but not because of health concerns. You know, people could hammer at me that you're going to get fat, you're going to get heart disease, you know, you're going to get type 2 diabetes. Oh, it, 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 that was very abstract to me. But the fact that I would be unattractive and have trouble uh, finding my future wife really bothered me a lot. And that, that's uh, the one thing that really motivated me. Oh, I came to an age where that would be a bother. That's why I didn't, I didn't, it didn't bother me that I was drinking soda when I was 12, 13, 14 years old. That wasn't really on my radar. But when I was 16 years old, that started to get on my radar. And it, it just, uh, it's, it's just an example of why you have to personalize your motivation in order to achieve what you want. Thanks for watching.